Hi viewers, welcome to our channel RJS Info. This video is about how to reconcile sales data with bank receipts, whether the invoice amount fully recovered or not. Simply party wise or customer wise, we can reconcile it. This is a sales data, company name, invoice, date, and sales amount. And receipts, clearing date, check number, company name, and amount. Based on invoice, check amount may be a two checks or three checks may be issued. Split amount will be there. So we have to check it one by one. Instead of doing one by one, at a stretch we can do that. Mass reconciliation can be done. Company name is common and amount is common. The rest of thing we can ignore it. Still we want some information, so better to keep it. Create one more sheet. Just copy the sales amount. Copy. Paste it. Row height 15. Or keep 17 also. Not issue. Name should be in a first column. And this copied version also should be a first column. Company name, paste it because we want to make some adjustments. You create two columns, amount should be in the same column only, then only it will be reconciled. upper one rest of thing is common so now we just delete it before doing reconciliation upper one is a debit this one is a credit so just multiply with minus one just to copy then paste as a value only Just move to original. This is done. Next step insert pivot table from range, create new one. So, company name is in row then sales this is very important ABC electronics is fully paid and uh, golden chemicals pending there are some pending cases we have to check it up in case we want some invoice number just drag and drop in a row. If you like this video, please share it, comment it, please do subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you.